Yeah, well, London City Airport, we, we feel, has got a, a unique proposition. So our uh, unique selling point is, firstly, our proximity to the centre of London. So London City Airport is the only airport in London. It's uh, five kilometres from Canary Wharf, which is growing you know, tremendously fast. There's 105,000 people in Canary Wharf now. They think that population, employee population will double by 2022. Uh, 20 minutes from the City of London and 35 minutes from the West End of London. Um, we have a unique proposition in terms of location but also time saving both for departing passengers because we offer a 20 minute check-in uh, prior to your flight departing and also more importantly for arriving passengers, so 10 minutes from your plane seat to surface transport. So the proposition of London City Airport is the combination of that speed in and out of the airport and its proximity to the centre of London. 65% of our passengers that flow in and out of the airport start their journey away from the airport and fly in as an inbound passenger to predominantly do business in the City of London. And so that arrivals proposition of 10 minutes is really, really critical and it's time saving A for more productivity, hopefully it will require less hotel nights and, and expenditure for business travellers, uh, but also from a leisure perspective, since 35% of our passengers are now leisure. Um, Spain is an ever increasing market for us. Uh, in 2010, Spain represented 4% of our total passenger volume. 2012, that's nearly doubled uh, in time, both in terms of capacity and uh, passenger volume, so it's around 7 or 8% of our total business. Mm. Our passenger volume to and from Spain has increased by 30% since 2011, so far this year. So Spain's a really, really important market for us, it's developing. Our unique selling point is speed in and out of the airport. The opportunity for us to grow and to serve uh, the Spanish marketplace, both from a business and leisure perspective, and we feel there's a lot of opportunity in raising the awareness uh, for Spanish originating passengers that they have a real choice compared to other airports in terms of network and that speed and time saving proposition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, you're right, we are, we are you know, centrally located in London, so you know, that's, that's A, great for the consumer. Uh, obviously, there is, uh, you know, we're an airport, so there are noise and environmental considerations. We work very hard with the local community. Uh, we provide employment in the area for over 2,000 people. And as part of our planning agreement with the local community, we actually close the airport for 24 hours from Saturday lunchtime to Sunday lunchtime um, to respect the fact that you know, we're flying in near people's Saturday homes. Saturday and Sunday, no? Yeah, oh. for 24 hours between Saturday lunchtime and Sunday lunchtime. Okay. Other than that, we have you know, regular restrictions. Same 24 same. hours or...? 24 hours, yeah, oh. closure. Um, other than that, we have you know, regular timetable. Um, we have uh, significant operations Monday to Friday to cater for the business uh, travel community and increasingly a lot of leisure flights that are growing uh, considerably uh, over time. Um, we're also developing the airport, so today we have 70,000 movements per year. We have permission to increase our movements to 120,000. Uh, we can do that today. Um, obviously that's very important because of the infrastructure constraints in the UK marketplace generally. So Heathrow uh, is now full and there's an opportunity for aviation to grow at our airport, well, we're going to grow sensitively in that we will now be building out uh, new infrastructure, uh, new parallel taxiway, uh, new stands that will allow us to accept the next generation uh, business jets, Category C aircraft, which uh, Bombardier, for example, have told us that they're 20% uh, less noisy and 20% improved in terms of their CO2 emissions and the range that we can serve from the airport is almost double where we have today. So we think it's an opportunity that we can develop the airport and s support the local community, minimise the impact environmentally mm -hmm. and also develop a better network for our customers. 
Yeah, the, the majority of our business is uh, scheduled uh, business traffic. So 65% of our scheduled business is uh, business traffic, 35% leisure on the scheduled side. We have around six to 7,000 aircraft movements a year for private aviation, and we have a significant uh, jet centre presence there, and we have very uh, strong relationships with customers like NetJets and, and so on. We have good we have good relationships with our railing customers, I and mean, they're growing considerably. We our proposition is to deliver a high proportion of business travellers um, who typically will buy more flexible tickets at a higher price um, than other airports. And but that is very particular to the time of day. So yeah, we you know uh, have a high uh, premium proposition in the peaks, the beginning of the day, and the end of the day. But um, you know we're very, very competitive in terms of pricing through the course of the day, in terms of movement fees and so on for people to start new services and particularly leisure routes when the air, uh, airport is less busy. Oh. Yeah, well we have uh, 3.1 million passengers uh, that we're predicting will achieve in 2012. We think we can grow that passenger volume to 6 million, so double the passenger mm -hmm. volume by 2019. Uh -huh. and 70,000 aircraft movements to 120,000 by, by 2019. That's what our planning permission is for. The UK Department of Transport predicts that we'll reach 7 million passengers by 2020, 2022. Uh, and we're on track uh, to do that. We, we think there's significant uh, opportunity to not only add new routes, we've added seven new routes already this year. We think there's a further 25 to 30 routes that we can add over the next five years. And then by 2016 and beyond, we can add a much broader network. So the next generation aircraft will allow us to serve the east of the United States non-stop, as well as the Middle East and so on. And that also, we should talk about the fact that there's a lot of opportunity to increase the passenger volume from Spain and the other end of the route on our existing route network. So 65% of the people that fly in and out of airports start their journey in Madrid or Barcelona or Dublin or Amsterdam. And by our calculation, we, we've done a lot of analysis that shows where people start their journey and end. We think there's about another 150,000 passengers that we should be uh, capturing and delivering our proposition to today in Madrid and Barcelona with the existing network. Oh. And, and ultimately that'll mean that we can add frequencies to Madrid and Barcelona service, um, that makes it more attractive for the business traveller because they have more flexibility uh, and so on. So a lot of opportunity. We have good relationships and, and firstly, the, the as I said, the UK Department of Transport is predicting a significant growth. Secondly, we already have obtained permission to increase our movements and nearly double them to 120,000 movements. Um, Growth so far at the beginning of our commercial plans for 2012, we're actually ahead of where we thought we'd be in adding uh, aircraft capacity. So we're seven seven percent up uh, in 2012 compared to 2011 in you know a, a challenging economic environment. So we think as hopefully the economy improves, we'll be able to accelerate that growth overall. So we have good good relationships. We work very closely with the local government as well as central government uh, in, in London and uh, they're generally supportive of our plans because it's well documented that London has uh, an, a constraint in terms of airport capacity mm -hmm. uh, and we have capacity today and we have room to grow so we feel we're part of the solution to that problem for London. You know, we, we employ, we have around 500 staff that are employed directly by the airport, but there are 2,000 people employed in the local community uh -huh. uh, that support the airport, which is really, really important because the borough of Newham, where the airport is located, as well as uh, Tower Hamlets, are some of the poorest uh, boroughs in London. So we provide a very important uh, employment story. Mm -hmm. And as we grow from hopefully 3 million passengers to 6 million passengers, we predict that employment is going to grow uh, at a similar rate. And that is, you know, our proposition to the local communities will continue to be an important employer. <coughs> we will grow, um, and while doing so, we'll minimise the, the noise and 
environment and environmental impact, and that's you know, central to our plans. Yeah, we have we have um, noise restrictions, but uh, but our operational um, restrictions are, are really governed by the length of our runway. So that that means that we can only receive certain aircraft types, and the range today that we can uh, deliver is around a thousand nautical miles. Uh, with the exception of New York, uh, our New York service. Uh, the next generation aircraft that we will be able to accept once we've developed the airport by 2016 will allow us to nearly double that range, but still live within the noise uh, uh, limits that we have committed to to the local uh, community. So you know, we're, we're confident that we, 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 we don't have a a situation where we'll have a, a, an A380 or, or anything like that landing, so we don't anticipate we'll have significant noise or environmental issues. In fact, the development is positive because it'll be reducing the existing noise oh. footprint. <laughs> sure, absolutely. The, the, that, that's central to our, to our offer. So what we want you know, passengers originating in Madrid or Barcelona or, or anywhere to understand is as they arrive in our airport, we can get you from your aircraft seat to your surface transport, so taxi, or to the DLR train station, which is in the terminal building, directly into the city of London, Canary Wharf, or the West End. So, 10 minutes from plane to train. And when coming home again from departing, it's 20 minute check-in. Plus, we have to join together the short distance to travel from central London to the airport, plus that short check-in time, or arrival time, which we think is really competitive compared to, say, Heathrow, where you have you know, a 45-minute journey at best, plus a two-hour check-in time. So we offer a real time-saving uh, proposition to people, both in terms of cost of minimising uh, hotel room nights, maximising the business day, uh, as well as just making uh, time for people to get home quicker to see their families and, uh, and so on. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, we feel we have a very strong proposition overall and we also will continue to develop it and, and invest in that over time. We spent uh, 11 million pounds last year uh, investing in a new security uh, screening system which allows us to get all our passengers through security in two minutes or less and we track that and hold ourselves accountable by facial recognition mm. technology so we, we measure that very very closely internally. That's part of the journey that delivers that overall time saving to people. Plus we've invested in new restaurants and food and beverage outlets throughout the airport and uh, all our retail offering is brand new. And our philosophy is that the whole terminal building is like an airport lounge. You know, we have no dedicated airline lounges. Everybody coming through is a special customer and uh, we treat them in that way that everybody gets free Wi-Fi, we have a free shoe shine service, the uh, restaurant offerings, wherever you sit in the terminal we do at seat uh, waiter and waitress service. Um, so we're trying to treat everybody as a, as a business class passenger regardless of whether they're travelling or business or leisure. Well the, 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 the restaurants and the retail offering is aimed at the business traveller but we have a lot of high street brands, Cafe Nero, etc., within our terminal that have high street pricing. It's the same as their high street pricing. So it's high quality and uh, you know, in, in some respects uh, you pay for you know, high quality but we, we deliver um, a strong proposition there that is in keeping with the overall experience. But what I would say to your um, readers and, and, and customers is, is a lot of our existing customers that enjoy our airport think that we are a very well kept secret and we're trying to let everybody know about that wonderful secret because you have great service from Spain, um, it's an increasingly important uh, destination and origin point for us and when you get to our airport you'll experience terrific service, speedy service in and out of the airport and we deliver you to central London, something no other airport can do. So please come and give us a try. Okay, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you.